Trapped on a desert island, a man prepares to commit suicide, but the waves slap a body on the beach. The man rushes up to him and prepares to give him cardiac resuscitation, but fart after fart manages to break the sad atmosphere the man has created. The man rips off the belt from the other man's body and prepares to seek death again, but the corpse farts are getting farther and farther away and louder and louder and louder and louder, and they actually have a tendency to fly up to the sky. The man couldn't care less about suicide. He took the rope and put it on the other person, and even played super kayak, constantly accelerating forward. To people in the sea speeding, the man instantly recovered the hope of life. As it turned out, the body was underpowered at that point, and the two men plunged into the water. By the time Hank opened his eyes, he had been washed up on the shore with a package of cream puffs floating in front of him. Excited that he had hope of survival, he yelled into the woods, but there was no response. Response. It turns out that the bodies have sent him to another deserted island, where there is still no signal and his cell phone has only 10% battery left, so Hank decides to take Hank to find a way out, but the farting along the way makes it very difficult for Hank. Coincidentally he finds a cork in the grass, and just like that the farts disappear, Hank found a cave as a short resting place. It was also raining heavily outside, so he rushed to get a cup to catch the precious water resource. Then he went back to the cave to get ready for bed, but he tossed and turned and couldn't sleep. Bored out of his mind, he talked to the corpse, so lonely Hank embraced the body. The rain hit each other's face, the body blinks its eyes. The next morning, the body opened his eyes, he saw a raccoon is picking hand's mouth. Hungry head, he rushed straight out, but the raccoon did not catch. Last night's rainwater but was kicked over, hungry and thirsty, and desperate once again, Hank decides to abandon the body and hit the road on his own. As it prepares to leave, he notices a steady stream of water coming from the corpse mouth. Hank rushes to ride it, only to see the water jetting out, and he rushes to catch cup after cup to drink, but the water slowly dries up. The corpse throat came out a few syllables. Hank thought he was starving and hallucinating. Scared Hank punch in the face of the other. This corpse was very special. Not only was his farts so loud that he could turn into a super yacht, but his mouth would spit out a constant stream of pure water, as if it were a large water fountain. The most special thing is that he's actually alive, right? After Hank obtained the water of life from Hank, he realized that the other party actually spoke, and although it was very weird, Hank seemed very friendly, he introduces himself as Manny, and that to get to know each other. Although Manny came back to life, he suffered from total amnesia. In order to help him regain his memory, Hank starts from the beginning of human evolution and teaches Manny step by step how to become a real human being. He hoped that the other party could quickly recall his true identity and help them to escape from the deserted island together. Hank just carries Manny on his back as they stroll through the jungle, talking non-stop about all things human, until they see animal feces on the ground. Hank realizes that there is a greater danger in the jungle, and that is the beasts. That's when there's a commotion in the bushes, and the duo is so scared by the beast, which doesn't show itself, that they roll down the hill and fall to a pool of water. Hank's cell phone also slides down in front of Manny, who sees the girl on the screen. I think she's the one and can't wait to meet the other, but the girl is actually the one Hank met on the bus. The first time he sees the other, Hank falls in love with her, but he doesn't dare to confess because he doesn't think he's worthy. Hank saw Manny's state, thinking that if the gods can make each other recall, what is also very intentional. So he kindly lied to Manny, the girl in the cell phone may be his girlfriend, or even his wife. Hearing these words, Manny was really excited, so we open more functions. He is like Hank's Swiss army knife, not only can help him bite the rope, but also can become a razor to shave off Hank's beard. And Hank, in order to help Manny remember better, also used resin moss and other materials to recreate the busing and dressed up as a goddess and acted out a sitcom with the other. She stuffed cords pretending to be headphones into Manny's ears and taped different landscapes to the window to simulate the bus moving. It all makes Manny feel good to be alive and he can't wait to get home. In the beautiful scenes, Hank worked so hard to create reminded him of the girl he liked, named Sarah. After that, Hank then noticed that Manny's fingers were able to make sparks, so he immediately made a fire and fried popcorn and watched a movie with Manny. But the other man choked on the popcorn. Hank immediately helped him spit out the foreign matter, but the popcorn spewed out actually pierced the bottle. Now Hank found a new use for Manny. He used Manny to launch a rope to climb out of the pond and also made Manny machine guns, hunting many animals and living a life of food and drink and even happier than before. The man and a corpse lose their footing and are hanging upside down from a bridge when suddenly the support breaks and the two fall into the water. Just when the man thinks he's going to drown, he pulls the cork that's sealing the body, and instantly a loud fart washes the two out of the water, and they manage to save themselves. Once again, Hank pulls himself back from the brink of death through Manny. Now the two men are truly friends in life and death. At night, Hank uses the sound of a loud fart to start a fire, and the two men lie on the ground, having endless thoughts about the future. However, when Manny hears that no one over their back home likes to fart and no one accepts his spit, he thinks it would be better to live in the jungle free with Hank forever. When Hank is on the toilet, he notices that there are actually vehicle lights behind the woods. And when he turns on his cell phone and the signal returns to normal, he opens his social media apps and sees that his goddess is married and has a partner of her own. 
He realizes it's time to tell his friend Manny the truth, so he comes to the other man and explains to him about Sarah, admitting that it lied to him, but not before explaining everything. A brown bear appears right behind them, and Hank is about to die when the bear scratches his leg and drags him away. At that moment, Manny slowly wriggled his way to his feet and crawled over to the fire, letting out a big fart, which scared the bear away and got them out of harm's way. The next day, when Hank opens his eyes, Manny has carried him to the backyard of the goddess house. At that moment, the goddess daughter appeared, and she cried at the appearance of the two across the street, and her cries attracted the goddess. Manny got scared and turned back into a corpse. The goddess calls the police, who take Manny's body. Hank, unwilling to accept this, steals Manny's body and begins to run away. While in pursuit, the police see everything Hank and Manny built earlier in the woods in the goddess backyard. It turns out they weren't stranded on a deserted island, and the police suspect that Hank is mentally ill and imagining everything. So they kept chasing each other until the beach. Hank kept calling out to Manny, but there was no response. Hank rushes to fart as a signal before being arrested by the police. Just after he was about to be taken away, the beach responded with a series of farts. The crowd turns around and is surprised to see Manny's body twitching nonstop. As Manny pushes, Hank embarks on his own journey through the farts. 